expected to shy away from any duties at all. Maybe the, um, and if you reason with me, maybe the governor was just complimenting her husband. You know, you can call your spouse, darling, honey. Maybe she was calling him in, uh, the patron of Meru Youth to allude to his youthfulness, or the ambassador of hustlers at least to show his hustler credentials. So would you therefore say that the governor's spouse is bound by Article 10 of the Constitution regarding national values and principles of a public officer? Uh, yes, Honorable Kyogora. That's my first uh, question. Uh, yeah, I would not uh, support uh, your thinking, Honorable Senator, that this might have been done because of love. You can easily kill someone because you have found them with someone that you love. And you say, I did it because of love. Does that mean that the judge is going to forgive you because you did it out of love? You're going to be jailed for manslaughter if you did it out of passion. Now, if the governor was breaking rules out of excitement, uh, out of love for the husband to give him various portfolios in the government without following the due process, then that, that is very unfortunate. And I don't think the other 46 governors of this country are unromantic so as to appoint their spouses to county offices by creating offices for them. In fact, we have six other female governors. Do you want to tell me they don't love their husbands? Um, my, second, my second question, can you confidentially, uh, in confidentiality, or confidently confirm that any of the roadside appointees are currently holding appointment letters? I cannot confirm that. Uh, my third question and last one, can you tell this committee that